Elementary school children in Taipei will be provided one free milk product a week. The Taipei city government says it launched a program due to a calcium deficiency among the Taiwanese population. Critics, however, believe it's simply trying to buy votes ahead of the mayoral election later this year. Taipei Mayor Hao Longbing visited an elementary school today to enjoy some milk. His New Year's gift to the children is a dairy product each week. <laughs> children can choose milk, yogurt or other items. The city government says it adopted the policy based on a Department of Education study, which found that many elementary school children are missing a vital nutrient that milk supplies. The biggest nutritional problem among Taiwanese is insufficient calcium. I want children in Taipei to consume enough calcium and heed the health of their bones. This is a trial program. If the results are good, it will continue. The cost of the program will be 120 million NT annually. A ruling party city councilor says that Hao lacks justification to spend this money. He said that 98% of children in Taipei have a calcium deficiency. But further investigations show that Hao relied on a national study from 11 years ago. I don't know what the original purpose of this policy was. Could it have been to simply spend money for the sake of spending money? Since Hao became mayor in 2006, the city government hasn't taken any noticeable steps to increase calcium intake among children. It also has not conducted any related studies or investigations. DPP lawmakers wonder if the city government began this policy now to boost its standing among voters in the local elections later this year.